Another bike share company is joining the crowded and largely unregulated market in Dallas as China-based OFO adds another 1,000 bikes for people to rent, ride, and leave at their destination. Some question if the bike share movement is so far a boost or a bust. Here's Fox 4's Natalie Solis. A variety of colors. Various features. Adjustable seat there, goes up and down. Bike share companies peaking curiosity. And we're just like, can we ride those? And getting plenty of rave reviews. It is much more user friendly with the lack of having to park it in a specific place. It is awfully nice to know they're wherever you need them when you need them. <laughs> okay. And now a fourth company, OFO, adding a thousand of its yellow bikes to Dallas streets. Is there room for another bike sharing company? I definitely believe so. I think that there is an incredible amount of unmet demand. What you probably notice about all these bike share companies moving in, they are dockless, meaning the rider can leave the bike at their destination. There are no docking stations like you see in some places that can cost the city thousands of dollars to install and maintain. These bikes cost the city nothing. I think there should be a certain drop off point, not that they just leave it anywhere. Not all feedback is good. Some citing broken or vandalized bikes junking up the landscape or bikes left in odd, inconvenient places. We do wish that people would be more respectful when they're parking the bikes after they use them. We think this is a great service and overall, uh, I think it's been really well received. Uh, we just need to help people to understand how to do it responsibly. They're taking bikes that have been in an area that Anthony Fleo is the operations manager for Lime Bike, which areas. has 1,500 bikes so far, with plans to ramp up to 5,000 by year's end. He says teams are not only dedicated to tracking usage and redistributing bikes, but fixing them and responding to customer complaints. The Dallas transportation manager says it's taking a market-based approach, allowing bike share companies to set up shop before considering regulations. And the bike share companies say they get how important it is to make a good impression. We want to be good neighbors and good, you know, good partners to the community. Now, Councilman Lee Kleiman, who's chair of the Ch Transportation Committee, he tells me they will likely be revisiting this issue in the spring when they've got more feedback and data to consider. Now, if you need to report a busted bike or one that's left in an odd place, you are encouraged to call 311. It not only reports it to the city, but to the bike company itself.